Hi guys, this time on Deep Junk Garage, we've got a uh, 69 Pontiac GTO uh, that needs a medic stat <laughs> and needs help right away. <laughs> uh, then a little goofy with the tampos there and the stripe and uh, oversized judge decal on the front fender or tampo on this. Uh, these steel wheels with these yellow rings are on them. Chrome interior. Everything that makes a Hot Wheels just bad is on this. Uh, the paint, I'm sure it's covering something ugly somewhere. Uh, it is sagged on the rear quarters. Um, didn't stick to some of the high points. It kind of, you know. So at any rate, this is what we were starting with. We'll get it over to the bench and get it all popped apart and see what we're working with inside. I'm sure it's just as, as good as the outside. Alrighty, with the GTO apart, we can look at some of the pieces here. The base in black plastic. Uh, it's got uh, some decent detail. There's some suspension parts up front, cross member, lower control arms. We got uh, oil pan and transmission, another cross member there, dual exhaust, looks like it runs back to mufflers and drops like, aims down ahead of the rear axle, which, yeah, that's okay with me for this one, and a fuel tank back there, those, I guess they're called, steel, whatever they're called, steely wheels or whatever, kind of look, reminds me of a Mopar wheel. Needs painted up argent and get rid of that yellow ring. We can save those for something else, bigs and littles. Uh, big chrome piece. Got our interior. Uh, detail doesn't look half bad. Get all that chrome off of there. Rocker panels are on that same piece as well as the rear bumper. Glass is tinted. Uh, smoked it's like a smoke color instead of amber or green or blue so <laughs> I'm happy for that and then the body uh, I'm looking around underneath it that edge under that front balance there looks like it was chewed up by a dog the average stuff in the wheelhouses the rockers are kind of uneven Right above that bumper there, that well, that looks like a lot of paint. I have to see what it, what it looks like after we strip it. But this car, um, I wanted to do uh, a GTO that I had, I owned for a minute, and uh, I was a dumbass to sell it, and then I couldn't get it back. So we're gonna do it like it was when I had it. Uh, and I can explain a little bit more while I'm building the car and, and kind of fill you in. Uh, looking at this thing, this body here, just by looking at it. Uh, this greenhouse, this opening looks a little bit too large for the car. And I find a little bit of something in every, in every uh, casting. But I'm not going to reinvent the wheel on this one either, so... I got science project still sitting over there. 68 Nova, the science project. Alrighty guys, get at it. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, got the uh, GTO out of stripper. And it was about like I thought. Um, well, I shouldn't say this. A few little things I didn't see around the windows. Um, that's line up the roof here um, in all the wheel openings above the deck or below the deck that at the bumper um, rockers all that stuff uh, I'll go up front and see if I can get this here where you can see it there is a a bunch of extra garbage here right on the nose of the car and if you can see 
the bumper on this side right here is dented in. Do you remember in all them GTO commercials where the guy's got the Endura bumper and he's smacking it with a hammer and doesn't do nothing to it? Well, apparently nobody hipped Hot Wheels to that. It's a line between the bumper and the fender is real thin there. I'll have to pound that back out and then probably re score that line um, and yeah like I said all the other stuff that I thought was there both lines up the uh, from the quarter up into the roof that front bumper's a mess alrighty guess it ain't gonna fix itself alrighty guys we got the GTO ready for paint um, just again give you a quick look before it goes in uh, just how clean that body is that's that uh, wheel ease again uh, that uh, wheel cleaner I spoke about uh, front end on that left front there looks pretty good got that dent out of it uh, round the windows round all the wheel openings oopsie daisy along the edge of the deck lid there so, ready to go put some paint on it. Get one more step closer to finished. Alrighty, guys, I'll put a little detail on this GTO chassis. Body's getting some paint. Wanted to do one of these for a while, years ago. I had, uh, when I got divorced, I was working a pretty good job for a really big company, but I was uh, in an office, so maybe you guys could try to imagine me putting up with office politics. <laughs> uh, I didn't, it didn't work out, I wasn't there, well, I was there a couple years, but, and I also did my car stuff at night. At that time, it wasn't. It, I liked doing it, and you know, I've got a love for the that kind of work. But I was basically doing it so I could eat and keep a roof over my head. Uh, so where my shop was, wasn't in the best part of town. I had uh, a shop next door to me, body shop. And they had a GTO sitting in the corner. No engine or transmission. And uh, I got to know the owner. I finally asked what was under the cover and he showed me. And I asked him if he'd want to sell it. And he said sure. So I bought it from him. He got it minus the engine and transmission. And it had been popped up front. That's probably why they pulled the engine and tranny. And he fixed the car and put a nose on it. I got it from him and then painted it. I built a Pontiac 400 on a four speed for it. So this, this car here is gonna be a little replica of that one. I should have, well, I mean, you know, hindsight is 2020. Should have kept this, I should have kept that. Hell, if I'd known things were going to blow up, I'd have just bought some land and put a couple pole buildings on it, and I just would have went out and started buying cars. I could have retired a long time ago. <laughs> Alrighty. And there's our finished chassis there. A little blue on the motor, on the oil pan, a little steel. On the transmission, some flat aluminum in the exhaust, some black up on the uh, front there on the lower control arms and such. Yeah, I think it'll look pretty good. So we got that out of the, out of the way. The uh, interior is in black. The body is uh, setting up the clear coat so I can handle it. Tomorrow we ought to be putting this thing together. Sweet! 
Alrighty guys, after stripping all that paint off of there, got rid of the goofy uh, chrome interior and ditched those wheels. Uh, got a couple nice coats of carousel red paint and some clear coat on it. Uh, my car was originally an open headlight car and then uh, I did put uh, the hidden headlight stuff on it and I used uh, electric uh, door openers from a uh, 69 Camaro so that they were they had offered them back then and I just changed a couple of the arms around to get it to open and close uh, the ones on the Pontiac um, yeah carousel red even though it looks orange that's uh, that's carousel red uh, the wheels I used on this car uh, were as close as I could find to a uh, a center line wheel I'd po polished center lines on it Got a good stance uh, sitting up in the back end just a bit. Kept the tr uh, rocker trim on it. My car did have a spoiler on the back. Some tail light detail in the back. Kind of seems weird not seeing it without uh, a judge stripe and uh, badge on the front fender. That seems like everyone you see has, has the uh, judge stuff on it, whether it's a real judge or not. And of course the underside, we did our Pontiac engine blue up front, the transmission, exhaust all the way back, we got the uh, differential done and the front control arms stuff in another black. Just a nice clean day two kind of car. And that's what would have been sitting in my high school parking lot way back when <laughs> I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video I'm trying to cut things down a little bit um, shorter little uh, uh, you know just clips uh, of the car coming together um, trying to get uh, a few different things worked out as the new year comes up I want uh, I want to try some some other things with this with the channel and uh, you know it, it it can't stay the same. Things have to grow or they get old and then they, uh, you've got no use for it, it dies off. So I'd like to try a few things uh, in the upcoming year. Um, and we'll see where it takes us. You know, I can't, I can't uh, say if it's gonna be, only you guys can say whether it's gonna be any good or not once you see it. So I appreciate everyone for stopping in and checking out the car. I uh, thank all the subscribers uh, people have come on board. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to also, I, I did before, was trying to do some midweek around Wednesday, and uh, there it didn't see. I couldn't get a regular thing going, and it, I'd like to do that with uh, you know one build a week and have something in there, um, whether it's just. Uh, you know what's going on on the bench or if something you know that I found a new tool or something like that that comes along um, you know to uh, to bring you more content and that's the idea with the with the new year just better uh, new content a uh, little more content and uh, we'll see how it happens we'll see how it goes here guys hey thanks again for stopping and we will see you in the next one